We're going to talk about Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn, non-spoilers, and then I'll give you a heads up for a spoiler talk a bit later. But for now, call me stupid, but I really thought fantabulous was a made-up word until I found out that it is actually what I kind of think it is, a combination of the word fantastic and fabulous, and the movie gave me just that. It's punk, it's avant-garde, and yet it has this retro vibe. I really love how the original comics were adapted in the movie. We all know this is a girl power movie, but I really appreciate that it didn't fall into that trap of all those girl power cliche stuff. I mean, yes, it's there, but it doesn't scream that into your face, just like how Charlie's Angels did it last year. Jeez. In terms of storyline, there's nothing too dark like Joaquin Phoenix's Joker movie. Plot twist wasn't that big of a surprise either, but you should definitely stay for the post credit scene. I mean, I laughed so loud, and it's one last Harley Quinn-ish move that will get you off the groove, but I do feel that there's a sequel coming along given how much fans have accepted and welcomed this character. Without a doubt, Margot Robbie really delivered Harley Quinn as always, from her voice to reactions and everything. It shouts hyper crazy psycho adorable. I hope to see a Harley Quinn origin movie though, because as is with any superhero or villain franchises, a character should have its struggle that will lead them to their founding. And Harley Quinn's character has all those elements, we know that, but it's not showcased in this movie, which is understandable because this is not an origin movie, so I do want to see an origin movie from this character. I like Mary Elizabeth Weinstein here better than her role in Gemini Man. I think that this role really suited her perfectly. There wasn't too much of her in the movie, but she had a good amount of impact. The Black Canary actress Journey Smollett Bell also stood out, and she kind of reminds me of Zendaya from Spider Man. Okay, we have to talk about the action scenes here. I mean, it's just way out of this world, but somehow it looks realistic enough. With the John Wick team on board in this movie, no doubt it's really trailblazing. It's entertainment at its peak. Ewan McGregor as the villain was fun to watch, though his Black Mask character lacks something more to really make him the antagonist here. In short, the character was not really a scary villain. Let's talk about the movie title. It's clearly a Harley Quinn movie, but it's called Birds of Prey with a long Harley Quinn subtitle. This movie was Harley getting over the Prince of Crime Joker with an intro of the making of Birds of Prey, but now I'm starting to think that this was intentional to give the movie title a little bit more character, a little bit more Harley Quinn persona to it. You know, um, she's quirky and she doesn't follow rules or any structure at all. Now let's move to a short spoiler section, so consider yourself warned, spoiler starts now. My favorite scene of the movie was when Harley Quinn barged into the jail and she was looking for Cassandra Kane. I mean, that was super epic fight scene and action that I couldn't see anywhere else. Um, she was beating the hell out of the guys in prison because for sure she did something bad to each of them and they want to have their revenge and it continues till she was playing baseball and hitting the cocaine um, to those guys. That scene was the topmost Harley Quinn moment for me. Though all the fight scenes were impeccable, I feel that the girl gang didn't struggle enough to beat the bad guys. It came too easy for them to beat the villain, I must say, and Black Mask could have more evil intent in him in order to be a good villain. Harley and him didn't even have a one-on-one -on -one fight, which is what I'm expecting. So finally, I assume you guys stay until the post credit scene slash voiceover, yes? So Harley says, Batman f 
and then it cuts off. So I think it has the next movie or something, it has to do with Batman or his team recruiting Cassandra Kane to be the next Batgirl because in the comics, Cassandra Kane is Batgirl. So Harley being the mother figure of Cassandra, she doesn't like the idea, so she hates it. She doesn't like this concept of, of Cassandra leaving her and going off with uh, Batman. Any theories you guys have, let me know in the comments below. See you in the next video.